I wanna explain to you the nuts and bolts of building an Instagram food business so then that way you have everything in mind. So you're not leaving out key components that would be crucial for the success of your Instagram shop business. Next up, this overview allows you to see things in the whole picture so then that way you can actually dissect and absorb the information properly and for you to make the decision whether you wanna go the free way or the paid way. Now let's dive right in. Free weight and the paid weight. So what do I mean by that? As you can see, there are two different shops <clears throat> available. There's the free shop right here and the paid shop right here. The main difference that we're seeing is right here that has a shop feature. Now, if you're just looking at these two different shops, it might look entirely the same. However, there's a big distinguishment between the two. You might be thinking just, hey, it's a button, but actually it's more than a button, okay? And as you can see here, once you click into the button, it brings you to the site, and then the site would allow you to actually click in each of the products for you to learn more about the product that you're selling. Whereas with this one, there's no feature that is similar to this. Now, let's dive into the requirements. If you wanna use a paid account, okay, then you would need a Facebook page and an e-commerce website as well, whereas if it's a free, then you don't need to worry about any of those items. The three key benefits of a paid Instagram shop, and this is something that I highly, highly recommend you guys to invest in. First up, because it is much more convenient for your customers to browse your items instead of directing them to a website of yours, which would be clunky, which might be difficult for um, the pages to display, your customers would potentially be able to just click into your shop and this shows up right away. This is much more easier and convenient for your customers to just browse through your items. It also increases the likelihood for them to purchase because there's less friction when they're looking at this. This is much cleaner on the eyes and much easier for them to make a decision because it's just so convenient. Two clicks and you're here. Whereas in the website, people need to scroll, 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 find your product, so on and so forth. Next up is also allows you to promote your products directly. So instead of you telling people to visit your Instagram bio, click on the website and then browse your items, you can actually have people and actually have links right here that populates. And once you click into the link, automatically it brings them to your website, which they can place an order right away. And this, once again, increases your likelihood for people to purchase, okay? So you can actually have multiple call to actions within the image itself. And this, once again, increases the likelihood and it seamlessly promotes your product page. And that's the reason why I love this shopping feature. And lastly, it also gives you much more exposure for your customers who are searching for your cuisine. So for example, if I just type in pizza, this pops up right away. The shop pops up right away. It's in the explore tab and it has much more exposure than if you were not on the shop feature. Your product is now exposed to people who has the intent to buy because when you're in the shopping tab right here on your Instagram, most likely you're thinking about buying something. And if you're thinking about, hey, you know what? I wanna probably buy some uh, pizza dough or let's see if there's anything pizza related that I can buy. That's when you click onto the shopping bag and you're gonna see this sushi place, you discover it and you're like, oh wow, this is so cool. Sushi and pizza, let's give it a try. And that's how you're gonna be able to market to people who have the intent to buy rather than just mindlessly promoting to people scrolling. So this increases your chance of your shop being exposed to much more people. And that's the reason why I would highly recommend you to look into per using a paid Instagram shop. But nonetheless, regardless of whether you choose a free or paid Instagram shop, you would still need the following four components for your shop. So make sure that you guys pay attention in the next four lessons as we cover the business operations, we cover the ordering process, we cover collecting payment and fulfilling orders. And we're gonna dive deep into each one of these processes so then that way you can start building up your Instagram shop, either free or paid, and we're gonna cover the pros and cons within each of these lessons.